A former human interviews several candidate souls for a chance to live a life as a human. After meeting a soul, he began to question himself and be confused about life. Will he choose this strange soul to become human or not? Hello, and welcome to our channel. Today we'll review and recap a fantasy drama movie called Nine Days. Let's check it out. Will used to be a human being, but now he watches the lives of other souls whom he chose to become humans on multiple TV screens. Part of his job is to interview new souls and select one who he thinks is qualified to be born as a human being. He starts his day watching and taking notes on these individuals' day-to-day -day lives. He keeps an eye on a teenager being bullied, a bachelor getting married, a police officer, and a gifted woman, among others. For some reason, he is very fond of the 28-year-old prodigy woman named Amanda. He observes this person's life the most as if he can relate to her. He goes to a junkyard one night to find something he can use. When he comes across a broken spotlight, he takes it home to fix it. After arriving back at his house, he sees that Amanda is the only one awake among all the individuals. The next morning, Keo comes over to bring him food and to watch Amanda's violin performance. He is also a soul who did not disappear and hasn't had the opportunity to become a human. Currently, he assists Will in monitoring the living individuals, including the interviews. They notice something unusual with the prodigy while watching her screen. While driving on the highway, she intentionally speeds up and crashes into an overpass, ending her life. Both of them cannot comprehend what happened to her, but there is nothing they can do. The only thing he's noticed is that she's having trouble sleeping. Because he expects that his friend will be busy after the incident, Keo leaves early. During that night, a bothered Will spends his time reviewing the videos of the woman, starting with her childhood. In her youth, the woman uses crayons to draw a portrait of him in the video. It's very difficult to know if someone's actually going to go through with something. And that's one of the reasons we should really always try to be kind to one another. The following day, new applicants arrive for their interviews one by one. He gives them temporary names and takes their pictures. Strangely, all candidates already know why they are there for the interview, although they have only existed for a couple of hours. Also, each of them has a unique personality. Among the candidates are Mike, Maria, Alexander, and Kane. They will undergo a qualification process for nine days, but not all will reach the last day. Also, only one will have the opportunity to live as a human again. No one will carry their memories with them, but their personalities will be the same. He starts the first test by giving them a situation in which they need to decide what decision they will make. The scenario is that the individual is a wall prisoner and has a son. The person needs to decide whether he will end his son's life, otherwise every prisoner will suffer the same consequence. He takes note of every answer and everyone leaves. Finally, the night arrives and Emma knocks on his door. She is another candidate who is late for her interview. A little bit irritated, he still accepts her and moves with the same process he did with the other candidates. However, the woman's answer is quite unique and it annoys him for some reason. She didn't answer the question. Instead, she answers it with another question with a sense of high empathy and curiosity. The candidates who pass the first day come over and Will gives them a house tour. He instructs each of them to watch the television screens and write something they like. Because of their unique personalities, each of them writes something far different from the others. Rather than writing something, Mike draws a beautiful picture of the beach. Once again, Emma arrives late while Will is watching the video recording of Amanda. He ends his day reading the answers of each candidate. The last woman cannot select what she wants, so she writes almost everything, unlike the others. He returns the notebook and tells everyone except Mike to keep watching and writing. He informs him that he did not pass, making him emotional. After breaking the sad news, he asks the young soul to choose a meaningful moment from the TV screen. He will then try to recreate that moment for him before his time is up. He probably thinks of Mike as a weak person who will likely struggle if he chooses him. And for that reason, he wanted to protect him in some way. He and Kayo start working to fulfill the eliminated candidate's last wish. They go around and collect items from the scrapyard that they can use. And instead of working on her assignments, Emma decides to help them out. Oh. She asks them what kind of last moment they would like to experience. Will gets irritated about the question and does not answer it even though he is the only one who actually experienced living among the three. The woman notices that the evaluator hates his previous life so he asks Keo what happened to him. He mentions that his friend was one of the same souls they watched on the screen. Although talented, he struggled his whole life and had difficulty fitting in. Will stays up from evening until morning, 
still trying to find the real reason behind Amanda's case. During the day he talks to the remaining candidates individually and asks about their thoughts on a specific video they've chosen to watch. Emma finally decides to choose a person that she wants to observe closely. Instead of picking someone from the screen, she chooses Will and says indirectly what she has noticed about him. Understanding who the woman is referring to, he only answers that the man she describes can no longer be healed. Mike arrives and they proceed to make his last wish in the basement. She hides in the basement to witness the eliminated candidate's last wish. The last moment he selected was walking barefoot on the beach. They manage to recreate it, making him happy. After a while, he starts to fade until he is totally gone. Later that night, Will thanks the woman for helping them out and sits beside her. He shares something about his previous life experience that really made him feel alive. As part of a theater group, he enjoys acting even though no one really liked him back then. He had an opportunity to become the main actor and that was when he really felt alive. However, he doesn't want to relive that moment because he fears feeling alive again. Despite Keo's request to stop, he remains obsessed with Amanda's case and continues to review her videos to find answers to why the incident occurred. Six days have gone by, and they continue with the evaluation. Marie, who is developing feelings for Will, leaves a note. One night, Keo brings over another interviewer just like Will. This person has sort of a connection with Amanda. One of the people that she is monitoring is Amanda's cousin. She gives him a tape. It contains a recorded video where Amanda's family found a note before the car incident. Although he monitors the woman, he doesn't see her write the note, making it more difficult for him to accept. Keo tries to help him out, but his friend just can't get over the situation affecting his work. His frustration starts to show up in his interviews. He even intentionally hurt Alexander to make a point and force him to answer his question. By the end of the interviews, he chooses Maria to be eliminated among the candidates. She thinks it has something to do with the letter, but Will completely denies it. Instead, he hands her the paper and asks for her last wish, which he will recreate for her to experience. The next day, he also eliminates Alexander. However, he begs the interviewer to give him another chance. Among the candidates, he is the only one who doesn't want to accept his fate, so he refuses to make a last wish and walks off. In the evening, Maria arrives to experience her final wish. They recreate a scene where she rides a bike in different places. In the end, Will holds her hands to comfort her as, as she starts to fade. You can see that Will really has a gentle heart. He's probably just too afraid to get hurt. All of the candidates deserve a chance, but he keeps on choosing the ones who are tougher. Someone who will likely survive life, but not necessarily live a fulfilling one. One. In the evening, he opens up with Keo and discusses how he sees himself in Amanda's situation. He struggles to find something meaningful, which is why good or bad memories hurt him. After that, he burns all the video recordings of Amanda. And for the last day, only two candidates are left, Emma and Kane. Instead of arriving at different times, they are introduced to each other. They started to bond that day to get to know each other more. At night, they all eat dinner together and share stories and jokes. Their interaction shows how different both remaining candidates are. The woman is more optimistic and tries to focus on the good things in life, while the other candidate seems serious and realistic. By the end of the night, Will asks both of them to give a reason why the other person does not deserve to be born a human. Emma refuses to answer and walks out of the room. So, Will decides to eliminate her. In the morning, he offers her one last experience. She writes something down, but the interviewer asks him to choose something else. She didn't ask for anything else after that. Instead, she walks alone and waits for her time to pass. Later, he comes across a letter from Emma expressing her gratitude and explaining that during the interview, she listed down every memorable moment of her life. Will finds them written all over the house. After realizing he has made a mistake, he runs after Emma and passionately acts out a play as a theater actor. At the end of the movie, he thanks This is definitely a heartfelt drama that will make you appreciate life. It shows that souls that haven't been born yet still have personalities that are a lot like how people are. And this encourages the audience to find something meaningful in their own lives. This movie is an excellent reminder for anyone looking for something relatable in their own personal lives. Please subscribe to our channel to be notified when we upload. And don't forget to suggest movies that you want us to recap in the comments down below.